Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters of the Most High, I have something to share with you urgently. And I need you guys to see how urgent this is on the screen. These are all the disasters that's going on in the world right now. There are wildfires everywhere. Botswana, Napa and Sonoma, the berry areas of Bahia, Brazil, Australia, um, in Norseman and in the Decantins, Portugal, Spain, Madagascar, Exit Bahia, Brazil, You got a drought in the U.S. And there's floods everywhere. Let's go back to the floods. We're going to be talking about tro tropical storm land today. That's what our lesson is about. Tropical storm land and the Revelation 12 and about the trumpets are sounding and I'm going to prove to you in scripture that they are sounding. Okay. Please turn your scriptures with me to Revelation chapter 8. When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was a silence in heaven for about a half an hour. Then I saw seven angels standing before Yahuwah, and the seven trumpets were given to them. And another angel came and stood at the altar with a golden censer, and he was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the on the golden altar before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayer of the saints rose before God, before the hand of the angel, from the hand of the angel. Then the angel took the sister and filled it with fire from the altar and threw it to the earth. And there were pearls of thunder, rumbling flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. And now the same seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to blow them. We have fire being held down from heaven. People have all kind of video footages of this online. Please read with me. And the first angel blew his trumpet, and there followed hail and fire mixed with blood, and those and these were thrown upon the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all of the green grass was burned up. And the second angel blew his trumpet in something like a great mountain burning with fire. We know this is a we know this is a volcano. Was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. And all the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star fell from heaven, blazing like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of the water, and the name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became wormwood, and many people died from the water because they had made bitter, been made bitter. And the fourth angel blew his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of the light must be might be darkened, and a third of the day might be kept from the shining, and likewise a third of the night. It was getting dark about 10.30 at night, 9.30, 10.30. Now, at 8 o'clock, it was dark. Literally, I went out at 8 o'clock, it was dark. It probably was dark before 8 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. Then I looked and I heard... An eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew directly overhead. Whoa, whoa, whoa to those who dwell on the earth. And the blast of the other trumpets that the three angels were about to blow. And the fifth angel blew his trumpet and I saw a star fall from heaven to earth. And he was given the key to the bottomless, to the shaft of the bottomless pit. There are wildfires everywhere in the land. 
This is the Jubilee year. And I'm about to show you in scripture where we, the children of Israel, will be led back into the promised land, that remnant. Only a remnant will be saved and go back into the land. Only a remnant. But the scriptures say all that Israel will be saved. So I'm going to show you something. Oh, excuse me. We were looking up Tropical Storm Lamb that led me to this lesson. And I'm going to show you. It is time for us saints to put on the full armor of the Most High. It is time to anoint our heads and our faces. And it is time for us to fast. We're going to be reading from Jeremiah chapter 50. This is a message to Babylon, United States. This is the word of Yahuwah spoken through Jeremiah and the prophet concerning Babylon and the land of the Babylonians. Announce and proclaim among the nations, lift up a banner and proclaim it. Keep nothing back, but say Babylon will be captured. Baal will be put on shame. Marduk will be filled with terror and her images will be put to shame. Her idols filled with terror. So the images are the images of Baal. Just so you guys know that. And the terror is Marduk. It is her idols. And a nation from the north will attack her. The Russians are getting ready to attack. And lay waste her land. No one will live in it. Both people and animals will flee away. Please, Father, help me deliver this. In those days at this time, at that time, declares Yahuwah, the people of Israel and the people of Judah together will go in tears and seek Yahuwah, their God. And they will ask their way to Zion and turn their faces towards it. And they will come and bind themselves to Yahuwah in an everlasting covenant that will not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have led them astray and caused them to roam on the mountains. They wandered over mountain and hill and forgotten their own resting place. Whoever found them, devour them. Devil, you a liar. And we're going to get this message out. And whoever found them devoured them, and their enemies said, We are not guilty. For they sinned against Yahuwah, their verdant pasture, Yah the Lord, the hope of their ancestors. Flee out of Babylon, leave the land of the Babylonians, be like the goats that lead the flock. For I will stir up and bring against Babylon an alliance of a great nations from the land of the north. They will take up their positions against her. And from the north, she will be captured. Their arrows will be like skilled warriors who do not return empty-handed. So Babylonia will be plundered, and, and all who plunder her will have their field, declares Yahuwah. Because you rejoice and are glad, you who pillage my inheritance, because you frolic like an heifer, threshing gain, grain, and nay, like stallions, your mother will be greatly ashamed. She who gave you birth will be disgraced. She will be the least of the nations, a wilderness, a dry land, a desert. Because of Yahuwah's anger, she will not be inhabited. Amen. 
but will be completely desolate. All who pass this Babylon will be appalled. They will scoff because of all her wounds. Take up your positions around Babylon, all who draw the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows. For she has sinned against Yahuwah. Shout against her on every side. She surrenders. Her towers fall. Her walls are torn down. Since this is the vengeance of Yahuwah. Take vengeance on her. Do to her as she has done to others. Cut off from Babylon the sower. Cut off Babylon the sower and the reaper with his sickle at harvest. Sounds like some people about to die at this harvest. This is not the harvest y'all want to take a part of. Because of the sword of the oppressor, let everyone return to their own people. This is the Jubilee. He's letting you know right here in scripture, because of the sword of the oppressor, let everyone return to their people. Let everyone flee to their own land. Israel is a scattered flock that lions have chased away. The first to devour them was the, a king of Assyria. The last to crush their bones was Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. I will punish the king of Babylon in his land, and I will punish the king of Assyria. But I will bring Israel back to their own pasture, and they will graze upon Carmel and Bashan. And their appetite will be satisfied on the hills of Ephraim. What time is it? I don't know. I thought you were going to ask somebody. I know. I need to know so I can set my time. But I will bring Israel back to their own pasture, and they will graze on Carmel and Bashan, and their appetite will be satisfied on the hills of Ephraim and Jalee. Those days at that time, declares Yahuwah, search will be made for Israel's guilt, but there will be none. And for the sins of Judah, but none will be found, for I will forgive the remnant that I spare. Oh, not everyone's sins is forgiven. It's saying right here in scripture, the guilt of Israel will be wiped away and the sins of Judah will be no more. And this is for the remnant that will be spared. Everyone else will be turned to zombies. I'm so sorry. Do everything I have commanded you. The noise of the battle is in the land and the noise of the great destruction. How broken and shattered is the hammer of the whole earth. How desolate is Babylon among the nations. I set a trap for you, Babylon, and you were caught. Before you knew it, you were found and captured because you opposed Yahuwah. Yahuwah has opened his arsenal and bought, brought out the weapons of his rep and for the sovereign Lord Almighty has work to do in the land of the Babylonians. Come against her from afar. Break open her granaries. Pile it up like heaps of grain. Completely destroy and leave her no remnant. This is the Gentiles' land. <laughs> and y'all say he about to have mercy on the Gentiles. It sounds like he about to punish y'all. Y'all better repent. Repent. 
Kill all her young bulls. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe to them for their day has come. To time to punish them to be to time for them to be punished. Listen to the fugitives and the refugees from Babylon, declaring in Zion how Yahuwah our God has taken vengeance, vengeance for his temple. Summon archers against Babylon, all those who draw the bow. Encamp all around her, let no one escape. Repay her for her deeds due to her as she has done. For she has defied Yahuwah, the Holy One of Yisrael. Therefore, her young men will fall in the streets. <laughs> and all her soldiers will be silenced in that day. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Declares Yahuwah. Yes. See, I am against you, you arrogant one. Declares the Lord. Yahuwah Almighty, for the day has come, the time for you to be punished. The arrogant one will stumble and fall, and no one will help her up. I will kindle a fire in her towns that will consume all who are around her. This is what Yahuwah the Almighty says. People of Israel are oppressed, and the people of Judah as well. And all their captors hold them fast, refusing to let them go. They won't let us go. They out of the four corners of the earth. They will not let us go. They are holding us hostage. And this great city of Babylon in the Americas will not let us go. Yet their Redeemer is strong. Yahuwah Almighty is his name. He will vigorously defend their cause so that he may bring to rest to their land, but unrest to those who live in Babylon. A sword against the Babylonians. He talking to y'all Gentiles. <laughs> Declares Yahuwah against those who live in Babylon and against her officials and wise men. A sword against her false prophets. They will become fools. A sword against her warriors. They will become filled with terror. Terror. A sword against her horses and chariots. Y'all thought y'all tanks and y'all y'all bombers could do something to the most high. Y'all can't do nothing. Y'all can't do nothing. A sword against her horses and chariots and all the foreigners in her ranks. They will become weaklings. The sword against her treasures. They will be plundered. The drought on her waters. They will dry up for is the land of idol. Is the water not drying up in the Gulf of Mexico? Is the water not drying up in the Mississippi River? Am I not preaching the gospel to you right now? Do you not see what is happening? This is literally right here in his work. What he's doing is going on right now. Ain't the waters is drying up all over the world. Waters is sucking up. Where is all the waters going? It's going on land. It's just it's knocking y'all out. Y'all Gentile nations better repent. Y'all better repent. Only Israel can be forgiven. Only Israel can be recompensed for their sins. I'm telling you right now, Gentiles, if you have slept with more than one man, slept with more than one husband, there's, you have broken the covenant with the Most High. Only Israel and Judah... Do you not understand the scriptures of what he has put in your face? Are you denying his word? Do you want to come with that one? Galatians, neither nor Jew or Greek. Hold on, wait a minute. But was you not following what Paul say? It's always to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. But you're not paying attention to what scripture says. It didn't say the Gentile nations is forgiven. He told y'all to repent and to let his people go. But y'all would not let his people go. 
So I woe, woe, woe to you. Because now judgment is coming up on the land. And now is the time of the Jubilee where all slaves will return to their land. You will let us go. <laughs> you ain't got no choice. Because <laughs> he going to take what's his and we belong to him. We belong to him. We belong to the Most High. That's why you keep the commandments, the laws, and the statutes, and keep the Sabbath on Wednesday. You love the Father with your whole heart. Christ gave you two commandments to follow. If you follow those two commandments, you are following all the rest. <laughs> so desert creatures and hyenas will live there, and the owls will dwell and never will it be inhabited again or lived in from generation to generation. In my dream, the moon was red as blood and in front of it was these pterodactyl things and they was flying. Now, the first time I had this dream, it was in front of a white moon, really big moon. But now I'm seeing it in front of a red moon. Now, I'm seeing it in front of a red moon. And the cities were empty. When I say it was like abandoned, the buildings were abandoned. It was nothing. Like, it was barely people there. It was barely people there. We were